no self confidence. It's Shannon and Timory. I never know where to look. I, I, do, I don't know where to look. I, well, you're looking at that one. You're camera two. I'm <laughs> camera one. Hey guys. Hmm. I'll know this one. Hey guys. <laughs> I think that we've all struggled with self esteem and uh, self confidence and those kind of things. And I felt as though we should not. So I thought that I would bring in my lovely friend, Dr. Timory, who is amazing and lovely. And I would talk to we talked to her about how to get some better self confidence. Thank yeah. You. Thanks for being here. Yay. 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 We're in a park. I got the eye of the time. Being like a person who openly talks about liking sex or like being a sexual being is to be somehow immoral and it is to be like mentally unstable and just like it's ascribed all of these taboo things so uh you're i mean you're just going against the grain and i mean it comes from like you know, religious influence and that sort of thing and and capitalism that, that that makes a lot of money by telling you that like everything is wrong but we can fix it if you spend enough money so all those things conspire constantly to tell people that they're not good enough and that who they are is bad well, that's not good. No. <laughs> how did you, how do you, like, you seem like probably the most confident person that I've ever met, which is amazing. How do you feel that you got to that point? Uh, faking it? Yeah! <laughs> I just, All right. Just not giving a shit. Like, yeah. there, there's that, there's that point when you're just like, these are the things I want to do, and I'm going to do them anyway. And I don't care what those people think, because, like, who, I, I don't know. Like, I'm sure they're all very nice. I'm sure they're all very nice, but like, I'm well, never gonna see that again. Nice. No. I, mean, I think confidence actually really is a big piece of it because, yeah. like, um, a lot of what, and, and this is maybe just speaking for myself, but um, a lot of what I am drawn to is the perception that someone has, like, qualities that I could then, like, bask in or could gain from being around them. And so I think that's very. Uh, appealing. I think people like enthusiasm. If if you like set a tone that people want to be on that vibe, like, and so I mean that's I guess sort of the function of cheerleaders is to like we're gonna set this tone so we can all be ludicrous together. Um, and passion, like being like really into something, is is really attractive. Like yeah. having something that you're really excited about and like that fire. Yeah. You know, don't try to be sexy for someone. Else, be thankful for who you are. Yeah, you're gonna find that person on Tumblr. Oh yeah, you are. Yeah. <laughs> they one hundred percent are there. They one hundred percent are waiting for you. Oh, yeah. They are waiting and excited, <laughs> just like that dog. And so, one of the ways to build self confidence is uh, by doing something that you are very good at. Um, you feel uh, successful because you know that you will have a very high probability of succeeding and then you can like always challenge yourself to do things you haven't already done before but like if you start out with a baseline of like this is already sort of in my wheelhouse then you get those, those built-in successes. Another way to build self-confidence is to do something that frightens you, something that you're a little bit nervous about. Yeah. Um, you know it's still we're not we're not saying necessarily do unsafe things, but uh, to do things that are outside of your comfort zone um, and to do them repeatedly, because the fear then is lessened, because that repeated exposure um, starts to diminish the fear. I mean, that's really how like anybody gets over any phobia. Um, so that's like literally how you build confidence. Okay. And also, it's you know, there's just that moment when you decide to just stop giving a shit. So. Uh, just being like, I don't know these people, like, what are they gonna do? Are they gonna take away my birthday? Like, I don't think they can. I'm I looked into it. I'm... Can't take someone's birthday away. Alright, so fuck it. Fuck it.